Hi, I'm Rabir. And I'm Matt. And this is Sound Like an Anderson's TV. Good morning, Matt. Good morning, Rabir. How are you? All the better for this video. Yeah, me too. This is one of those artists that it was like, I can't believe we haven't done it yet. We're sounding like Bon Jovi. I'm gonna sound like Richie Sambora. Yes, and I'm gonna play a bit of bass, maybe a bit of acoustic, see how we get. Let's see what happens. Literally walked into the Fender area at Anderton's and found this. 669 pounds, HSS with a Floyd. Well, that's bang Come on. on. Bang on. I mean, I don't know if I think he had Rosewood. I think he had the Rosewood board. But there isn't another HSS Floyd equipped guitar in the vicinity. No, I did no, have a no, quick that's scan. that's a regular Trem HSH. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. For this price. Go on, I think I, you know, although wood and fretboard material obviously makes a huge difference to the tone, I think we can get close with this. Well, bang on. That's, that's really nice. Nice colour. Mm. Deliberation. Yeah, we're in the land of Marshall. He's well known for using Marshall, so obvious choice. However, yeah. the guitar is really affordable, but we're going to need like a torque box. Yeah, and some pedals. A bit, bit of pedalage for some chorus delay. That yeah, kind of yeah, thing. yeah. So you know what I'm going to say, and I always do say it. I think things like the katana work so well for these kind of artists, but I know that you're all screaming at the computer screen right now. It's fine. The katana Mark II has just come out as well. As they you did. Know. But basically. To get a gigable Marshall that will give us that really, really kind of hi-fi sound that we need. Yeah. I just don't think we're going to be able to afford it. Well, that's it. the DSL 40 minimum, isn't it? It's yeah, 600 so quid 600. plus 669. That'll give us about 240 quid left. And we need and a talk box. Talk box is 160. And some other effects. Yes. Unless... That was my point. Is like, It's not me just being like, Boss is the no, best no, no, amp no, no. in the world. It's just that it it's does valid. so much for the money. It's valid. Um, right. I don't know what to do. Let's go and see. So we're, we're trying really hard right now. We've got, we've got to calculate right now. Yeah, we? we're trying really hard to make it a different rig from what we would normally use. Well, so we thought Marshall originally, because he's a Marshall guy. Yeah. And then we thought maybe Bass Breaker or maybe Blackstar, yeah. the Studio One that we've used before. It has a really nice overdrive in it. It has reverb, effects loop, all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, and then we were saying multi-effects. And using multi-effects, but the thing is, even with like a Boss GT1 at 150 quid, plus the, the Torque box. box, it's over 300, plus like a, a Bad Horse by Tone City, yep. they're still 40, so we're on about 350 quid of effects, plus the guitar. 669 and We basically that. have about 450 quid to get a giggle, giggable amp. We're over the, we're basically, we worked it out, we're 100 pounds over budget if we went with this particular rig. Yeah, which isn't an option, because if you don't have that extra cash to blow, which we don't. No. Can't do it. So, it's gonna be Katana Mark II. So, we've finally decided on our rig for Richie Sambora. Yes, we do. We've got the guitar. HSS strap with a Floyd. Perfect. We've got the Katana 2x12 Mark II. We've got the tool box. Yes. And we also have the Katana foot switch. The GAFC. There you go, which will give us some well, foot switchable qualities. Yeah, Matt really wants to get the bad horse, which is the Turn City Clon, to put it in front. I was saying that they do have that kind of boost inside the Boss Katana. They do, and I was saying that maybe it sounds slightly more, you know, that pushed in front of the amp sound. So I mean, get one anyway, because it's with un it, we're still under 1,500 pounds. We are indeed. So let's go and see what it sounds like. And we're back in the video room. Yes, we are. In this 80s adventure to sound like the mighty, mighty Bon Jovi. Yes, we are. I'm Richie Sambora. And I'm... <laughs> and I'm Matt. Yes, you are. Yes. To be fair, um, we sort of said in the store, let's find a different rig than we normally go for because, you know, it makes things a bit interesting. However, we succumbed to the power of the katana as per usual. 
But it was based on value, really. We wanted to go for Marshall. However, we couldn't afford it with our £1,500 budget. And then there was the Blackstar HT Studio. Which would have been great too. Yeah, that was a really good amplifier, actually. But yeah, they were always floating around just over the budget. So, And the thing is, this is the Katana Mark II. So technically, we've never used this in a Sound Like a episode. So this is the first time, which means we've, we've essentially got maybe... 30 more episodes worth of using the Katana Mark II go. before people wait. get annoyed. Um, yeah. Also, it is worth saying, I did say 80s band Bon Jovi, they're still around today, obviously, and yeah. they've been around ever since. And we're focusing on kind of the heyday, maybe yeah. where they're at the prime. Um, obviously, Phil X plays guitar for them now. Yes, he does. Um, but this is a Richie Sambor. Phil X is a great guy. And a great guitar player. Yes, he is. Um, I love you, Phil. <laughs> Anyway, let me talk you through the guitar. So, I'm just going to say this before I go into the spec of this guitar. It's really good. It sounds really great. good. It's a great colour. I said it in the shop. It's 669 pounds. It's an HSS Fender Strat made in Mexico with a Floyd Rose special tremolo system locking nut on it. Apart from that, you've got a five way tone, tone, volume. And I think this has got nines on it, so okay. it makes it a bit easier. But for this kind of style, that 80s hair metal shred thing, it's just great. It really does play really good, sounds good. Um, so I'm happy with that. Um, I guess it's worth pointing out that we're using the MXR talk box to do Living on a Prayer, of course. Yeah, iconic. To be fair, you have to run the amp and the guitar through the talk box so you don't get the amp out the front. Yeah, so we decided to get an ABY box. Um, ours is a quite expensive version, mm. so but there are like affordable versions available for less mm. than 100 pounds, I think. And basically, if you split the guitar signal one through the talk box and one into the amp, you, then you get like a, a dual layered thing, so it sounds a bit more like the record. Yeah, that's the reason we did it. So, so that's literally all we've got aside from the guitar and amp, and then it's the KT100 Mark II. Yep, uh, it's the 212. Um, it sounds huge and. If you've seen anything on the Katana Mark II recently on this channel, my channel, basically everyone's channel, it's like the same as the Katana, but you have variation switch, which gives you a whole load of new amp models and uh, dual concentric pots, so it's easy to dial in, basically. It's amazing, some really. other things. just when you, th you didn't think it could get any better. It the gets, best just got better. better. There you go. There you go. Um, and I'm running the GAFC foot switch on the ground so I can control the amp. And to be fair, that one extra purchase really makes this even better than it already is because you can you can do so much with the foot switch. But also, Rabir, it really pushes up our budget. It does, um, by so £79. I think all in, we're about 69 with an ABY, probably 1350 Yeah, so it's. I think the guitar is definitely to contribute for that and the fact we went for the biggest of the combos. Because yeah, sure. you can get the 50 or 100 watts much cheaper. And, that's, that's and again, gonna, That's going to fill a stadium, though, and the smaller ones won't, so... I mean, you could definitely play, you could play a stadium. With that. With yeah, definite, you could. Obviously, we'd need miking up, but like yeah. you know. Anyway, this is literally all I did really for the excerpts was find a hair metal kind, eighties hair metal shred tone. So it's like the lead channel, the brown sound, and then I'm using uh, like a, I used a bit of a booster, but mainly just delay and reverb. And this is how it sounds. <laughs> That's how it sounds. Yeah, legit. Yeah, and, and again, the guitar is awesome. It's a great looking guitar. I'm yeah, impressed. yeah, yeah. I'm impressed. And this humbucker squeals. Like, that literally, all I'm, it's just a bit of gain from the amp and just. 
It, it just wants to squeal. Nice. Um, but also, may as well show off the guitar, the fact that you've got really nice neck pickup. The point is, um, with a Fender and a five-way HSS, there's loads of different tones out of it. And again, the Katana has everything. Doing a great job. Matt, cool. what did you use? I was using this primarily as my bass guitar, which is a Sire Marcus Miller second generation in this kind of uh, pink sparkle going on. Mm. Um, really, really great bass. Really nice to play. With a, it's got a satin neck, um, really slim neck as well. So as a guitar player primarily, very, very great to play. So that runs directly into this, which is a Blackstar Unity Bass U250. The bass Blackstar amp. Rumble. It's, you may be forgiven for thinking so, but it's a great looking bass amp and it's, they're brand new for Blackstar. Um, so yeah, both paired up. It's got loads of tonal varieties in it, so plenty of scope along with your million knob sire. That's not all you use though, is it Matt? It's not all I use, no. There was a very ultra special guitar, again, here, which is this Alvarez 12 string, um, which we had DI'd um, using the inbuilt preamp. Um, Again, this is a really, really, really nice guitar. I'm not quite sure what the wood is. What is it? Cedar or something? It is a 12 string, in case you were wondering why there are so many machine heads on the headstock. Yeah, and also obviously a long headstock. I'm not, I'm an, I can play acoustic, but 12 strings are a, an entirely different beast. So it was a bit of a challenge. But again, sat and neck on this, it seems really popular these days. Um, but really, really nice sounding guitar. Let's have a nice E major. And it's, this is about 570 quid, I believe. That sounded lovely. So it's, um, yeah, really, really affordable. Great sounds. You probably spent almost as much as I did. But I did get two, two guitars and an amp. Yeah, fair. So, I mean, I could write lots of songs with this. You could. And, well, and that. In fact, if you want to like, a start a band set up with no drums, I mean, all of this gear would be perfect. Yeah, absolutely. Um, very well pointed out there, Matt. If and you want to sound like Bon Jovi, though. So. Yeah. And that would conclude this episode of Sound Like uh, Bon Jovi without busting the bank. I feel somewhat like... I don't know what's happened now. I've got a bit of a complex about the fact that we use a katana and a, and a guitar and that's it. But truthfully, but I think it's, it's so good. But all the, all the extras that you need. I mean, people often ask, oh, do you use... Do you include the price of the... the the pedal power yeah. and all this stuff and obviously nice mics and whatever but I think this time with the, the foot switch with the DI box sorry the Splitter. ABY yeah, splitter yeah. and the torque box we needed all that yeah. really to sound like it and I think you know and the guitar actually does a lot to be fair sounded really good well anyway and, that, and it would have been worse had we gone and spent more and it not sounded as good it's a very good just point say that. that's a very good point and that would conclude this episode of Sound Like without busting the bank. It would. I have been Matt. All the gear is in the description box below. Eager and Beaver he's over been here. The beer. Yeah. <laughs> Comment on the comment section below. This has been Sound Like on Anders TV. See you later. Goodbye. <laughs>